Hello guys, my name is Subzero Xtabyte and I am having a fantastic day. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well. And if not yet hope you are going to have a fantastic day. But I think I know a certain way how I can make your day fantastic. And that is what we are going to do right now. Because we are going to play a game you might know but then in Minecraft it's called Temple Run where need to run as fast as we can and do some temple parkour in it. So let's get right in it shall we? But he knows that and now it is a challenge for me and as I said I like challenges so this is good for me and maybe I will be a professional temple parkour. Or what is that called? A free runner? Well it is not really that free because you need to stay in this box and you are not free to go anywhere except from when you get to the end of a temple parkour and you get released. But I can't seem to figure out how to do that third jump. It is pretty hard to jump on such a small surface and you also need to gain height because otherwise you are not able to get on the panel at all. But this is my moment this time I won't make it I guess. I was prepping myself up but I could not seem to get to the end of this small temple parkour. But maybe this is the time that I will make it who knows? Well at least I will try. Some people say failure lasts forever pain lasts for a minute. So, we are going to have pain for a minute and try to get to the end. And otherwise we will give up and then the failure will last forever. But as you can see my failure won't hurt forever because I just made it and I am already busy with the next temple parkour. And now I am almost at the next one of that but I failed to I need to try that again. But we need to try and try again if we fail and if we don't then we will fail forever. So never give up on things that you want to accomplish or if it is impossible then well I think you should not ruin your life thanks to that one thing. But if something is possible and you believe in yourself go for it my mate. But this is not a motivational video. I am not no Shia LaBeouf so I can't make such statements, I think that is something that he still needs to keep doing and I have no right to do such a thing as that manly man. But while I am talking so much I am distracting myself from the failure that I was before but look at me now. We made it and we can do another one. I am not sure what this is but I think you need to not touch the snow. With another game, you have some snowman people and when you touch them you blow up. And that was something like we did before. But hey, did we end up in Egypt? Well I am not sure where we are but this map is made from sand so it must be something like that and I am sure that we will amuse ourselves. But we are in Egypt so I think that amusing ourselves is something that is probably not that hard to do. But I like that there are ladders that you need to climb. And it is actually not that difficult to get to the ends of temple parkours right here. But it is really fun to play this temple parkour. Like this next one after the ladder thing is actually much harder because you need to keep your momentum, but it is cool that the first block is a slime block and you bounce off of the block and it is cool and you gain a lot of height, and that is something that you just need to have because otherwise you would not be able to make it, but I can't seem to make it either so this is not really that fun but we need to keep trying and it will all be alright and we will make it to the end eventually and it is cool so we need to keep trying and if we stop trying then we will feel the pain forever let's just think about that and just like that we made it and now we need to jump some really difficult jumps but we almost made it first try we just missed this last block we did not have enough speed to get on top of that last block but that is okay because we can try again and we don't have to race a clock and we just need to take our time and we will get there. Don't you even worry about it. Like see that is how easy things are and just like that we just made it to the next stage. Oh no it's a joke. We didn't make the very last jump but we can once again try again and this one was relatively easy so it is alright my mates. So, let's just try again, and again and eventually we will get there. But I don't understand why I am failing at this one because this one is actually pretty easy but I don't have enough momentum on the very last jump. Or maybe I am just afraid to touch the cactus and hurt myself and that I am holding back so I won't get hurt but I don't know. We will get there I am not even worried about that. With great skill comes great responsibility and I do not yet have a lot of responsibility so let's just keep trying and that we are going to get there and then it will be alright and just like that we made it and it looks like we need to jump on top of cacti and then we are done. Oh no we are now inside of the Grand Canyon or something. Why is it this orange? I am not sure but it seems like the guy who made this really stepped his game up with this one because look. Edit you need to jump on top of a fence on top off glass panels and I can't even reach the first jump so I think I am going to struggle with this one right here guys. But that is okay because I made it to the well then never mind, but I'll be there once again. But I am starting to get hungry. So maybe I can think to myself that if I make this temple parkour then by the end there will be a juicy burger waiting for me to eat it. 
and it would be served on a plate with all kinds of things that are delicious and there will be waffles and there will be chicken and cupcakes and it will have some spaghetti and all the things that I like and when I get there I am sure that I will be full after one plate and then I will cry because then there are so many things that I like to eat but I am not hungry anymore because I have a little stomach and then I will cry because all of the nice things are going to the garbage can and then I will be sad and I will be even less happy than I was a minute ago when I was still stuck at that one temple parkour just like I am at the moment but I think that this one is a bit easier than the previous one though so I think that I will be alright with this one and I will get to the end without too much hassle just like I just did but this one looks a bit difficult though so I am not sure how I will react to this one and look at the heights if you are afraid of heights then I don't think this one is for you you might want to skip this one and just fly to the next one but we will keep trying and I think that in a couple of seconds we would be done with this glass panel thing well that wasn't oh my I didn't make it well now I am pretty mad let's cheat just a little bit well it is not really cheating while well, it actually is but let's just not call it cheating but let's call it making it easier for yourself I have removed a couple of blocks so if I make it to the orange will bit then I have basically made it to the end and then it will be alright and we are safe and sound but if we don't then we have to keep trying but look at this I made it to the end and if I did not remove those three blocks then I would have fallen but it seems like these last two ones were time based but those were the easiest ones and what am I going to do no you might ask well I am not really sure yet but have one yellow wool block as a reward so I guess that we maybe could use that to cheat in the oh wait no we need to call it making it easier for yourself but as I said that this looks like one hell of a difficult temple parkour and we are no longer in adventure mode but we are in survival mode so we also need to watch our health and that we don't die because we don't want to die do we? Well at least I don't want to so I am not going to. I am going to nail the poop out of this temple park or right here right now. You can come with your Facebook live and film this entire thing if you want. It is also going up on YouTube so let's just watch it on YouTube because in my personal opinion I like that more. But if I don't talk that much as I am doing right now I could maybe focus a bit more on making these jumps. But that would not be fun for you guys and I do everything for you guys. You know that so I am going to challenge myself even more and I am going to try to make it to the end while I am talking this entire time. And what do we have here then? I did not understand it at first but I think that these orange blocks are there to guide me that I have to jump on top of them but they are invisible or something. So, I need to jump onto those and I need to try and not fall even though I can even see the block that is beneath me. And we just need to try it again and it is relatively easy once you understand what is going on but I am trying to do it too fast and that is why I am failing all the time. So actually I need to take my time, but I don't want you guys to get bored out so I am still trying to do it fast as I am Sonic the Hedgehog. And when I am Sonic then I think that if I do it just right it will all be okay and I will make it to the end without too much trouble and it won't be that hard and I will be okay when I get to the end just like I was now and now I need to jump on the pressure plate and just like that I am in a golden world all of a sudden, like a minute ago I was still struggling with the diamond one and look at me now, I am nailing this temple park or like I did it before and I think that this is once again amazing that we have to find a ladder or something but I think that also this is going to be okay and just like that we made it and now we need to jump on top of the blocks that are beneath the fences and I fell down into the maze again but luckily for me I remembered where the ladder was but now I am doing it mom get the camera I am jumping towards fences that have a block beneath them and that last one was really poopy I am pretty embarrassed by that one but I can try again and I think there is one more stage behind this one with the fences and when I have completed the last one of the golden temple park or then I think I will show up at the iron temple park or I guess and that one will look pretty nice I think I really like the look of iron blocks I don't know about you but I like that one but we can seem to get past that one fence with the block but that is okay because if we keep trying eventually we will get it. And if I am taking too long, and with too long I mean like 10 minutes or something then I will just cut to the part where I do make it. But I don't think that something like that would be necessary but we will eventually get there don't you even worry and this was all it took and I tried to make this last one in one try but you can always have anything you want in life so I have to try that one again because that first try was just a good try but it was not good enough but two times is all I need and now I am in an emerald temple parkour and this one does not actually look that hard, but it does look a bit ugly, 
it is just too much green for me, and I also don't really like the shape that is inside of the emerald block. But that is everyone's own opinion maybe you that is watching this video right now. Like do you think that this is ugly? Well maybe you think that these emerald blocks are hot aren't amazing beautiful and all kinds of nice. But my personal opinion is that these emerald blocks are just plain ugly, I am very sorry if you think otherwise. But enough talking about these emerald blocks and my opinion let's keep this temple park or on a roll, and let's do this boys. Oh yeah and I am not forgetting you girls that are watching this video but you normally don't just say let's do this girls. Or you have to be with a bunch of girls and at the moment I am all alone, yeah. I know so sad. But when you are alone you don't normally say let's do this girls, but I think that this emerald temple parkour is the hardest of them all and I don't think that I will complete this one but I don't know yet. I am a professional temple parkour player. Or what did we call it? It was not a free runner so probably a professional temple parkour player. And what is happening right here? There are invisible blocks here. What is this then? Oh you need to maneuver your way through that is pretty cool. And no you have a climbing wall. That is pretty cool. And it was also cool that they're ready to make this roof even more amazing and we are going to do it as following and hopefully it will look really amazing even though there are kind of a lot of trees around that kind of get in the way but it doesn't really matter so that is just fantastic, isn't it? Well yeah it is so that is great. But yeah, the furniture bit always my favorite. So, let's just go ahead and make this one hell of an inside, we realistically only need a chest, a bed and a crafting table and everything else would be just luxurious. A furnace would be nice but we could do without it and just place the furnace outside and hope that no one will take our stuff, but we got it in our house so right now our little shelter is pretty amazing, it has light it has a comfortable bed, it has some carpets and it has a furnace, so what else would you want inside of your house, I just can't understand. But this is just looking great and I think we have done a really good job on this house. So that is just fantastic, a bit more details in the roof and then it is just way too good. And then on top of the roof some more details and then the roof is fully functional and looking good and when your house looks amazing you look amazing because you are the owner of that house. So, if you have a really dusty house then you will look dusty as well and that is something that probably no one wants so just remember to make a really cool house, and not some kind of dirt house because that is not nice. So. The house is looking better than ever before and I am really glad that I built a humble house and not something that is really big or something like that because I really like how it is looking at the moment. It is just nice and cozy and all of that so I really like that. So, our house is basically done so what we are going to do right now is not really smart to do at home, but you probably don't have a really high temple run in your yard or in your street or whatever so I think that all of that is alright. We just need to find a nice place where we can start building and then it is going to look really great, and we can then jump both sides because it has water on both sides. But we are going to start building 10 high and maybe if this project doesn't work then we could make it wide and stuff and then we are going to build like a temple run which is going to be a hotel temple run where people can rent a room and then we would have all kinds of random folks in our hotel and then a little community would start to exist. And all of you that are watching right now could rent a room in my hotel right here if the diving board doesn't work. And we would have the most amazing little community and it is all going to be fun and stuff. But wait hold up this thing is like really high now and I think we are almost in the cloud so that is good. But I could really go for some spaghetti right now. I don't know why but, at this moment that I am like cloud high, and I suddenly have hunger for spaghetti. If someone could get me some spaghetti that would be great. But wait hold up what is this then? This is amazing we are getting somewhere with our temple run. We are getting pretty high and it looks pretty cool. We are actually almost at the top of the building limit I think. And the cool thing is that it all made from wood planks and wood planks are pretty cool. It is also placed around a lot of water so maybe some guys could think that this is some form of diving board and that would not be nice because then I would have a lot of divers around my really high wood temple run that is also going to be a hotel in the near future, which is pretty impressive even though I say so myself. But no for real like this is starting to look like a diving and it is starting to look pretty nice and it is actually already pretty darn nice. Only we need to make the ground level something else, but we have a lot sand for that so that is going to be okay. But we have one of the highest diving platforms of the entire world I am pretty sure so I am really proud of that and we can almost just thread the needle but it is time to end this video right here I hope you liked the map because I did and as always I will see you in the next one.